Hi guys, today's Pandas interview question is that how to find the row where investment amount in lakh column is having minimum value in Shark Tank India all which is data frame. So we need to retrieve all the rows where invest amount in lakh is having minimum value. Let's see how do we do it. So I'll just import my pandas. So I'll say import pandas as pd. And then I'll take my data frame into the memory. So I'll say pd dot read underscore csv. And then I'll just select the data frame from here itself. And I'll write dot csv. Now, when I say df dot head, I could see that top five rows has been displayed. So the question is, you select this particular column and wherever there is the minimum value in this column, select retrieve all the rows out of it, okay? So I'll just do df dot columns for sanity purpose. And I could see this, this is the name of the column. So I'll select the entire column from here like this. Now, when I say df and I select that column and after that I say dot min. So this dot min functionality tell what is the minimum value available in that particular column. So investment amount in lakh INR is having zero. This is the minimum value. Okay. So the question is how do we retrieve all the rows where this value is zero. So there are multiple ways of doing this. So first way is that we know that the minimum value is zero. So I could say df and then I'll just write the name of the column and then I'll just put double equals to zero because I know the minimum value is zero. And uh, when I run this again, it will become a Boolean and false means that that particular place is not having the zero value and true means that particular place is having the zero value. So if you remember conditional filtering when we used to do location and I location, right? So when I say df dot lock, and then I just encapsulate my condition inside this log functionality of the data frame. When I run this, so I get all those rows where investment amount in lakh INR is zero. So I got all the rows like this. Okay. The second way of doing the same thing is that I select my column and I use double equality and uh, I again select that column and say that dot min. It means that, hey, uh, can I get all the rows where there is a minimum value in the form of a Boolean? So if I just run this, it will again come as a condition that this false is representing that there is not the minimum value at that particular place. And two means the, there is the minimum value in that particular place. Okay. So if I just use df dot lock or I just encapsulate the whole condition using the locks lock functionality of the data frame, I'll get all the data frame where investment amount in lakh INR is zero. Okay. Like this. So these are the, this, this, this was a two method where we can retrieve all the rows. Uh, we do have some other method also, but it, it is not that much good, but uh, let's say there's something called, I'll select my column and then there's something called IDX min. And when I run this, it will tell that the moment it finds uh, the minimum value, it will give the index position of that particular minimum value. So as you could see, uh, the minimum value in investment amount in lakh INR is zero. And when I did IDX min, it gave immediately it returned back the first index position that it got. So what it got, it got four, okay? So this IDX min is also where you can, you know, retrieve the row, not all the rows, but the first row, which is having the minimum value for that particular column. So if from, so let's say that from this, I have to retrieve because we know this is the index position. We can use the functionality called df.ilock 
And then I can just put this thing inside of it. And when I run this, I'll get only that particular row means row number four and things will be represented like this. Okay. Thank you.